There are few concepts which both baffle and arouse the human mind like the prospect of time travel. Whether it's to travel back in time to sleep with your hot grandma, or to travel into the far future and sleep with your hot grandkids. The idea of transcending the boundaries of chronology are mind-blowing. But will this ever be possible? I don't know, but some scientists have speculated on ways we might do it. And after reading what they said, I still have no idea. So, let's spend the next 10 minutes being confused together as we explore the five ways humans might travel through time. Number five, by going really fast. Einstein's theory of special relativity tells us that time slows down or speeds up, depending on how fast you are moving compared to something else. This means that two objects can age at different rates, depending on the speed of their movements. Imagine a situation where your girlfriend has a thing for older guys, but no matter how gray your hair is, and how many ill-fitting leather jackets you own, you're still not old enough to satisfy those daddy issues she's been hiding away. Well, all you need to do is send your girlfriend away on a spaceship traveling at a speed approaching the speed of light. Let's say 98% of light speed, and then wait for her to come back in 40 years. When she does, you'll be 40 years older, but if she's traveled at 98% light speed for the entire time, she will have aged a mere 40 days. So, your girlfriend's experienced time travel, but you've just sat in a lawn chair waiting for her to get home for four decades. That's a bad deal, by anyone's standards. This is, so far, one of the only forms of time travel which we know to be possible. As it was observed during the Hafele Keating experiment at the United States Naval Observatory back in 1971. Here, scientists took four cesium beam atomic clocks and placed them on commercial airliners. They then flew each clock around the world, and when the clocks were returned to the observatory, they told a different time compared to each other and any of the clocks back at the observatory. The clocks on the airplanes had experienced time at a slower rate than those on the ground, albeit at a rate measured in nanoseconds, but it still proved that the predictions of special relativity were correct. That the faster you go, the slower you experience time. Unfortunately, there are two problems with this method of time travel. First, it's only one way, so there's no traveling backwards in time. And once you're in the future, you're there forever. And second, the faster an object moves, an exponentially larger amount of energy is needed to speed it up, which means traveling at light speed requires an infinite and therefore impossible amount of energy. Oh, and there's a third problem. Traveling anywhere close to light speeds would tear you to pieces. Dang! So I guess we'll have to cheat somehow. In at four, wormholes. It was Albert Einstein who suggested the theoretical existence of wormholes. But what are they? And how might they work? Well, despite us never having observed one, it is speculated that tiny wormhole openings exist in space, which, if we could traverse them, would allow us to jump from one point in time and space to another. Kinda like the warp pipes on Super Mario, except without giant piranha plants inside. I hope. The problem is that you have to be pretty slender to fit through one of these theoretical wormholes. And we're not just talking Olsen twin skinny here, we're talking a billion trillion trillionth of a centimeter across. Okay, so maybe we are talking Olsen twin skinny. But even though we can potentially manipulate these wormholes to make them wider for our comparatively fat butts, doing so might damage the wormhole through exposure to radiation. This may cause the wormhole to collapse while you're in it. And whilst we don't know what would happen in this situation, I can't imagine it's not good. Probably some kind of cheesy clock montage or something. 3. Cosmic Strings Did you know that gravity can bend time? And since objects of large mass inevitably produce a stronger gravitational field, scientists believe that this is why time seems to slow down whenever you're talking to a morbidly obese person. 
but they also speculate that we could use this effect to travel through time by using a phenomenon known as cosmic strings. Cosmic strings are narrow tubes of energy which are left over from the earliest era of the cosmos, and like the wandering hands of Donald Trump, they stretch across the entire length of our universe. These strings are mostly theoretical, but we have observed some strange events, which may later prove to have been caused by cosmic strings, and some of these may allow us to manipulate time. Cosmic strings are thought to contain such huge amounts of mass that they may actually warp space-time in the areas around them. And if two strings were parallel to each other, this could even help us to travel through time by moving in close proximity to them. Are you getting this so far? Let's dumb it down a little with the help of Princeton University physicist J. Richard Gott, because he explains the cosmic string phenomena using a wonderful analogy, describing them as either like spaghetti or spaghettios. So, if humans can find this giant space spaghetti and travel alongside it, time travel might be possible, is my basic understanding here. 2. Make friends with a black hole if you thought traveling at light speed seemed risky, then Stephen Hawking's other suggested method of time travel makes that look about as dangerous as playing with a ketamine-addicted kitten in oven mitts. As we learned earlier, objects of large mass can affect time, but so can objects which are super dense. And since black holes are so dense that even light cannot escape their gravitational effects, Hawking believes we should just sail around the edge of a supermassive black hole and enjoy the serene calmness of time slowing to a standstill. Okay, sure. You go first, though. If you circle a black hole for five years, ten years would pass on Earth, as you'd experience roughly half the time passing that anyone not circling a black hole would have to endure. But wait, there's more! Because in 2015, scientists from the University of California reported a new area law in general relativity which stated that inside a black hole, time could potentially run backwards. So, in the brief moments between approaching a black hole and being crushed into an infinite smudge of nothingness, you might get a few years younger, which sounds pretty neat, until you realize those quacks in the medical profession will never let us have this technology, because doctors hate it when 40-year-old moms get younger-looking skin. And at number one, a time machine. In most science fiction stories where time travel takes place, it does so using some kind of time machine. Or in the case of Bill and Ted, a retrofitted 1980s telephone box. But for such a machine to work, it is thought we'd need to utilize negative mass, which possesses a negative energy density. This theoretical matter is apparently capable of existing within the rules of quantum theory, and it has some pretty weird properties when you start playing with it. Exerting force on negative mass causes it to push in the direction of the force, so, if you punch someone made of negative mass, your fist would fly back into your face, creating the universe's most elaborate game of stop hitting yourself. This matter may or may not exist, but if it did, we could theoretically use it to bend space-time back on itself to create a loop known as a closed timeline curve. Figure that out, and we'd have something close to a real-life working TARDIS. But without it, I guess you're stuck with a regular old police box which I would call a retardus. And nobody wants to go traveling in that. So, that's our list. Are you more excited about your forthcoming vacation? Now you know every time you fly on an airplane, you're actually traveling through time? Pretty neat, huh? Why not tell us what the future feels like in the comments below? Or just shut up and keep it to yourself and instead watch our recent video on the seven technologies trying to make us immortal. If we can figure these things out, maybe we won't even need time travel.